Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Have you ever wondered, how you could build a bigger and thicker back? Wonder no more. I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step tutorial that shows you exactly how to do rows for maximal back growth. Number 1. Barbell row. What is a barbell row? The barbell row is a compound exercise that primarily targets the muscles in your upper back, including the lats, rhomboids, and traps. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to perform the barbell row correctly. 1. Start by standing with your feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed slightly outward. Place a loaded barbell on the floor in front of you. 2. Bend your knees and hinge forward at the hips, keeping your back straight and your torso parallel to the floor. Your arms should be fully extended, and your grip on the barbell should be slightly wider than shoulder width apart, palms facing down, pronated grip. 3. Take a deep breath, Brace your core, and squeeze your shoulder blades together to engage your back muscles. 4. While keeping your back straight and your head in a neutral position, pull the barbell towards your lower chest by retracting your elbows. Focus on using your back muscles to initiate the movement rather than relying on your arms. 5. As you pull the barbell towards your body, keep it close to your torso, and avoid any swinging or jerking motions. 6. Once the barbell touches your lower chest, hold the contracted position for a brief moment, squeezing your back muscles. 7. Slowly lower the barbell back to the starting position in a controlled manner, fully extending your arms. 8. Repeat the movement for the desired number of repetitions. Some additional tips for performing the barbell row. Avoid rounding your back or using excessive momentum. Maintain a flat back throughout the movement to protect your spine. Use a weight that allows you to maintain proper form. Start with a lighter weight and gradually increase it as you become more comfortable with the exercise. Focus on the mind-muscle connection, actively engaging and squeezing your back muscles throughout the movement. It's important to warm up properly before performing the barbell row to prevent injury. You can do some light cardio, dynamic stretches, or specific warm-up exercises for your back and arms. If you're new to the barbell row or strength training in general, Consider working with a qualified fitness professional to ensure proper form and technique. Remember to listen to your body and stop the exercise if you experience any pain or discomfort. Number 2. T-Bar Row A T-Bar Row, also known as a T-Bar Rowing or T-Bar Row, is a variation of the bent over row exercise. It targets the muscles in your upper back, including the lats, rhomboids, and traps, as well as the muscles in your biceps and forearms. Here's how to perform a T-bar row. 1. Start by placing one end of a barbell into a landmine attachment or securing it in a corner. The other end of the barbell should have weight plates loaded onto it. 2. Stand facing the barbell with your feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed slightly outward. 3. Bend your knees and hinge forward at the hips, keeping your back straight and your torso at about a 45 degree angle to the floor. Your arms should be fully extended, and your grip on the barbell should be slightly wider than shoulder width apart, palms facing each other, neutral grip. 4. Take a deep breath, brace your core, and squeeze your shoulder blades together to engage your back muscles. 5. While keeping your back straight and your head in a neutral position, pull the barbell toward your lower chest by retracting your elbows. Focus on using your back muscles to initiate the movement rather than relying on your arms. 
6. As you pull the barbell towards your body, keep it close to your torso, and avoid any swinging or jerking motions. 7. Once the barbell touches your lower chest, hold the contracted position for a brief moment, squeezing your back muscles. 8. Slowly lower the barbell back to the starting position in a controlled manner, fully extending your arms. 9. Repeat the movement for the desired number of repetitions. As with any exercise, it's important to maintain proper form and technique. Avoid rounding your back or using excessive momentum. Keep your movements controlled and focus on engaging your back muscles throughout the exercise. Number 3. Single Arm Dumbbell Row 1. Start by grabbing a dumbbell with your right hand and standing with your feet shoulder width apart. 2. Place your left hand on a bench or other stable surface to support your upper body. 3. With a slight bend in your knees and a neutral spine, hinge forward at the hips so that your torso is almost parallel to the ground. 4. Keep your head aligned with your spine and your gaze down towards the floor. 5. Position the dumbbell directly beneath your right shoulder, with your right arm fully extended, hanging perpendicular to the floor. 6. Exhale as you pull the dumbbell upwards towards your waist, retracting your shoulder blade and keeping your elbow tucked close to your body. 7. Inhale as you slowly lower the dumbbell back towards the starting position, ensuring your arm remains fully extended at the bottom of the movement. 8. Repeat the exercise for the desired number of repetitions on your right side, then switch to your left arm. 9. Keep your core engaged throughout the movement to maintain stability and prevent excessive twisting or rotation in your torso. Number 4. Lap Pulldown The lap pulldown exercise primarily targets the latissimus dorsi muscle, which is the large muscle of the back that gives the B shape appearance. Here is a brief overview of how to perform the lap pulldown. 1. Sit on a lap pulldown machine and adjust the thigh pad so that it sits snugly against your thighs. Your knees should be at a 90 degree angle. 2. Grab the wide bar with an overhand grip, slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Your palms should face away from you. 3. Sit upright with a slight arch in your lower back, and brace your core to maintain stability. 4. While keeping your elbows extended, lean back slightly and pull your shoulder blades down and back. 5. Inhale and begin the movement by pulling the bar down towards your upper chest while contracting your lats. Your elbows should move towards your sides. 6. Focus on squeezing your back muscles as you reach the bottom position. Your upper chest should almost touch the bar. 7. Exhale and slowly release the bar back to the starting position by extending your arms and allowing your shoulder blades to naturally retract. 8. Repeat the exercise for the desired number of repetitions, ensuring proper form and controlled movements throughout. Some additional tips for performing the lat pulldown are to avoid using momentum to swing the weight down and up ensure a full range of motion, and adjust the weight to your fitness level and goals. As always, consult with a fitness professional if you are unsure about proper technique or have any specific concerns or limitations. Number 5. Seated Cable Rowing the seated cable row is an excellent compound movement for building muscle and strength in your back. It is a beginner-friendly exercise suitable for exercises of varying training experience. Unlike dumbbells and barbells, cables and machines keep constant tension on your target muscles throughout the range of motion, which can help promote hypertrophy. Plus, 
Since most dumbbell and barbell back exercises are performed while standing, it leads to core muscle stabilizer recruitment, which can make establishing a mind-muscle connection with your back more challenging. Performing cable rows while seated on a bench eliminates the role of stabilizer muscles to a great extent, allowing you to focus on your lats. The seated cable row is a godsend for folks who cannot feel their lats engage while performing free weight exercises like the dumbbell or barbell rows. The seated cable row is a versatile exercise that can be programmed into various workouts. Additionally, you can use different cable attachments in this exercise to change your grip position and train your back from multiple angles to ensure overall growth.